Production support for this episode of Gadget was provided by the University Catholic Center, the California Province Society of Jesus, and Gateway, the beauty and power of one. I recently learned that there are two ways to connect multiple monitors to your computer. There's the hard way, and then there's the display link way. Display link technology on this episode of Gadget. Hello, and welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's a place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balasser of the Society of Jesus. I'm a part of the California province of the Jesuits. We're the largest religious order in the Catholic Church. And we're here in the Center for Apostolic Technology at the University Catholic Center on the campus of the University of Hawaii. I want to start off by wishing everyone a happy recovery from their Super Bowl weekend. I know even if you're not a football fan, it's easy to get caught up in the revelry and... I can only wish that none of you are suffering from an overdose of nachos or hot dogs or hamburgers because we want you to pay attention. This is actually some pretty cool technology that we're going to be bringing to you this week. Now, DisplayLink was a company that was exhibiting at this year's CES. We found them at Showstoppers and, well, I'll just let the video speak for itself. Okay, so we're here at Showstoppers in the Wynn Hotel. And we're going to talk about multiple monitors. Now, if you work in today's workplace, you need multiple monitors. It's, it's not a convenience. It's not a luxury. It's something that you just have to have if you want to produce at the rate that you want to produce. Well, in the past, there's been a couple of options. If you've been running XP, you can run a couple of different video cards and connect multiple monitors. Now, occasionally you run into some interference. Occasionally you have a few incompatibilities that destroy your ability to, to uh, creatively expand your desktop. And if you're running Vista, you don't even have that choice since the WDM only allows you to run one driver. Well, the guys over at DisplayLink have come up with a new solution in their DisplayLink technologies. Now, the nice thing about this is that they're really a hardware software company. They're not trying to sell this. They want to sell the chip. And what they want to show us here at this, uh, at this booth is three different solutions. They've got this, which is an integrated DisplayLink monitor. So you can plug a USB device which is this monitor, straight into your computer and have the full resolution that you would have on Vista. Then the nice thing about this is it has the Vista Aero 3D interface running over a USB monitor. I didn't think this was possible. The way that they do this is they actually do all the processing in the client computer and they only send the finished output to the display. Now if you don't want to get their integrated display, you can also get this. They've got VGA and DVI adapters, which will allow you to do essentially the same thing. Take a USB interface, add a monitor, quite simply. Now, one of the cooler things they have here is this wireless device. They are actually streaming a, a movie at, at uh, 720p uh, straight from this laptop to this monitor over wireless USB. Now, the fantastic thing about this is that it gives you that added range. If you want to do signage, if you want to get the monitor a little bit further away from your desktop, if, if you just want the convenience of not having that cluster of cables, this might be a solution for you. So expect to see this, uh, this technology in, in more displays in the future. And uh, if you want to add a display or two without having to crack open the case, then the display link might be for you. Now, when I saw DisplayLink at Showstoppers, I was just blown away. I mean, I've seen, I've used USB to video adapters before, and most of them weren't worth the plastic that they were packaged within. The problem was that we just didn't really have the technology to, to, to drive video over USB. There wasn't enough bandwidth, we couldn't compress it enough, whatever. There were so many different excuses why it didn't work properly, but all I knew was that it really didn't work properly. I had USB displays that would drop out in the middle of, of just displaying an image or displaying text. I, I, I wouldn't even think about running video because that would immediately crash my system. But the DisplayLink adapters proved that it's possible. In fact, right behind me you see this Gateway HXD3000. It's actually connected via USB to this laptop, which is very, very underpowered by the way. And yet it can run Google Earth, no problem. It's been able to zoom in and zoom out. 
If I wanted to, I could actually even run video on this. Now, remember, this is driving 1900 by 1200. And uh, here I have a clip from The Daily Show that I got from Comedy Central. Now, the cool thing about this is that although DisplayLink didn't want to release their secret sauce, they didn't want to tell me exactly how they were doing it, they've used a combination of software, the drivers and the hardware, the chipset contained within the adapter itself, to allow you to leverage the power of your computer in pushing video through the USB cable. A lot of adapters previously had had tried to do everything within the, the adapter itself, and, and that's what gave you some really bad performance and some horrible reliability. DisplayLink actually works two different ways depending on if you're using XP or Vista, and they promise that they're coming out with Mac drivers. But if you're using Vista, because I'm using XP here, you could actually even get greater performance because their software will allow all of the frames to be rendered within your your high performance video card contained within your desktop and then only the finished frames are pushed out to the computer. Now that, that's a fantastic way to do it but what DisplayLink has done is they're not really a product company. They don't want to do manufacturing. They're idea people and what they've done is they've actually partnered with other companies like LG and Toshiba, Samsung, Kensington, IO Gear um, and uh, IO Data. They want to have their products integrated into the products of other manufacturers. And Samsung right now has several fantastic displays. You've, you've actually seen them. Uh, here they are again in these pictures that they were using at Showstoppers. They had one laptop and then they had two, uh, three people with monitors on their chest connected to that laptop just via USB cables. And they were able to display full video across all three monitors. Now, the monitors have been available for some time over in Europe. They're only making it to the United States now, but I, I see them just being incredibly popular, both because they're high quality and they're fast, because they can do everything that a standard video card could do. I mean, basically, all you're doing is replacing the cable. You're not accepting a degradation of performance. Now, they've, they've got a couple of developments coming up. Because it is USB, they were showing a demo at Showstoppers in which they were running full 720p video over a wireless USB connection. So in other words, you could take a display, you could put it on the other side of your office, and you won't have any cables running between them. It's, it's just nice to think about the possibilities. Now, the, the cool thing about this is because their devices, the, the small ones, are entirely bus powered, they're powered by USB, it's a, a no-brainer install. You simply take the cable, plug it into your computer, plug that cable into the micro USB connector, and on this side you have a DVI connector which you can convert down to VGA if that's what you need. That's it. Install the drivers, your computer automatically recognizes that you have another display, and now you have the ability to mirror it, to extend your desktop, to, to do anything you want. The, the, everything that you you were capable of doing with a hardwired display adapter, you can do with the display link. You also get the ability to mix and match up to six monitors into your system. Dennis Crespo from DisplayLink is going to explain that little piece of technology. The unique thing about this is all of them are different sizes and resolutions. So I have a mixture of SXGA monitors, I've got an HDTV here on the side, I've got uh, um, UXGA monitors, uh, UXGA, wide UXGA actually monitors here. Uh, and each resolution is uh, detected and configured at it so you get the highest resolution possible for these monitors. So you don't need to buy six of the same monitors. You can mix and match all different types of monitors. Now these devices, of course, since they're coming from different manufacturers, are going to vary in price. I know that the IO Gear one is going for about $100. Uh, I believe the Toshiba one is going for a little bit less than that. Uh, Kensington has actually integrated them into their laptop docking notebook stations, and those are going for anywhere between $160 to $180. But then you've also got the display links that are integrated into the monitors from LG and Samsung, which add just a tiny bit of a premium. Now, if you're buying a new monitor, if you're looking at a docking station, if you're looking for a solution to easily extend your desktop across multiple monitors without having to open up your computer or reconfigure any of your display settings, then I would uh, recommend that you check out DisplayLink. That's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget. If you want to find out more about DisplayLink, you can go to our webpage at www.thetechstop.net where you can download the full high-resolution versions of all of our episodes or check out our links and stories about uh, DisplayLink integrated technologies. 
If you want to write us, perhaps to suggest a new gadget for us to review, you can reach us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I want to thank you for stopping by. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology. I've been Father Robert Balasser. And remember, there's no Uber Geek without you. I own you, like I own you like pretty hard and stuff, right? I'm gonna give you some spanks, just like you're like Kyle, and you suck ass at all the games you try to